Reporting cases continue to soar here in the metro. The Albuquerque Police Department is now trying to strike a balance between protecting people and protecting themselves. News 13's Madison Connor is here to show us what they're doing to keep officers and staff safe from the virus. Good morning, Madison. Good morning, David. Back in March, APD went through its staff and figured out who exactly could do their job from home. Eventually, some were brought back, but now they are deciding whether to send those same employees back home as cases rise. I have detectives that are assigned underneath me. Um, I have the impact detectives that conduct follow-up investigations into general felony crimes. Um, a lot of that follow-up can be done through interviews, phone calls, and they go out and they uh, obtain evidence, surveillance videos, anything like that. Some officers, like detectives and workers, still had a job to do at home, but would only enter the building when necessary, as the virus seemed to be under control. They were slowly returning back to normal, but there has been another spike in cases. Over 800 new cases were announced yesterday. That's the third 800 plus day New Mexico has seen since the coronavirus got here. Now APD is considering sending non-essential officers back home to telecommute. But like any job, not every position can be done from home. A unit like auto theft, you really can't work from home with auto theft, you can't locate stolen vehicles through telecommuting, so they actually were essential to where they still had to respond out in the field. Commander Languid also said that during follow-ups, interviews, and even arrests, officers are maintaining social distancing to protect themselves and other officers. Meanwhile, APD is still working out the details to its telecommuting plan. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Madison. Now, in addition to the 828 new cases announced yesterday, the state reports 287 people are in the hospital because of COVID-19.